I'm Scott with Kentucky Ballistics and you're watching Gun Gossip. Are you tired of discount monthly boxes and getting stuff you don't want like canned gravy, velociraptors, and gas station sushi? Well now there's Tack Pack, the monthly box that brings you stuff you actually like, like magazines, multi-tools, hand guards, rifle straps, handle things, charging handles, tourniquets, stocks. Because y'all are good people, use the code GOSSIP for a free muzzle break whenever you sign up over at TACPAC.com. Woo All right, boys, I'm Hill Person Johnny, and this is Gun Gossip, the high fructose corn syrup of the gun world. A big thanks to fellow Hill Person Scott for that opening. Now, Scott's channel is Kentucky Ballistics. I'll put a link down below. He does all sorts of nonsense and red neckery. Here's a taste. My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. Hey, come on. Lee. Lee. Get. Go. Thank you. What's up, guys? My name is Scott, and you're watching... Our pick of the week comes from Shytac USA. Check out that patriotism. Now speaking of America, today is Memorial Day. Now I know it's a day where we remember those who have given their lives so that we can be free, and I do mean that. I am thankful. But it's also a day where we remind ourselves what a great place this is. No, not you. Get. So to celebrate the U.S. of A, who better to make an appearance than American flag shotgun guy? Go! Get some! <laughs> All right, y'all, let's talk about Post Malone. Everyone wanna act like they important. This week, Posty was spotted in Walmart packing some heat, open carrying what appears to be a Gucci Glock. And for those of you boomers who know Walmart but don't know Post Malone, here's that Walmart yodeling kid. And speaking of Glock, y'all remember Hillary Duff from Lizzie McGuire? Well, she was spotted this week carrying a Glock case. Check out that trigger discipline. Good job, Hillary. <laughs> and speaking of trigger discipline, our Jack Wagon of the Week is Dino Dad 32. Check him out. Stop all your complaining of how I always put my finger on the trigger in all my videos. Boo hoo baha. Get over it already. That's the way I do it. Just get used to it. Yep, he made a video specifically to say that he don't care what you think about firearm safety. Well, give it to him, Gunny. You jack wagon. A big thanks to viewer John from Pennsylvania who sent me this here lovely shirt. If y'all send it, I'll wear it. Address is down below. Now, this next pick I got covertly. It's from an upcoming project on the Kit Badger channel. Now, y'all know this guy. It's Ivan looking very gotnik. <laughs> Couple emails in this week of note. The first is from Jesse. He says the unsubscribe thing is getting old. Why can't you just answer people instead of saying unsubscribe? Well, hey, Jesse, the unsubscribe button is right down there below. Ice Cube, go. Bye, Felicia. And Andre says, as a southerner, I'm offended at your fake accent, and your entire show is reeking of white privilege. Drama Llama, go! Woo! Make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Fun time last week, I went down to Georgia for an IV-88 get-together. I got to see Sooch and a grumpy Hickok 45. I hung out with my bestie, Military Arms Tim, and me and John Hickok got to autograph an SKS. A big thank you to the IV-88 crew, Eric and Brandy and everybody down there for a really fun road trip. Moving right along. Foot loose and fancy free. Our oh yeah pick of the week is from Ed. He's the tactical plus size model. He's hanging out on a bale of hay. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, got a doozy for you. This next one is from Universal Shield. They make shields for firefights. Yeah, for real. Check out the fancy footwork. Parti. <laughs> and 
And here's two from my buddy Curtis over at the VSOs. This week on social, his mustache was accurately compared to R. Kelly. I believe I can fly. Now y'all know the We Like Shooting crew. They're known for lighting things on fire and semi-questionable life choices. Well, this week, Curtis allowed the We Like Shooting chief himself, Sean, to shove a 10-inch piece of tubing up his nose. You see, we've got a bevel right here, and that bevel's gonna go towards the septum. I'm gonna go in the right nostril. I'm just gonna go up over that cartilage. Straight back, perpendicular to the spine. See the fog there, it's steaming up. Yeah. So this is how I would make sure he had an open airway. I could work on other things as he did it. So go ahead. Oh. Boom. Ow. <laughs> that was fun. Hoo-wee! Curtis took that one like a champ. For his contributions to medical training, Curtis, you get my coveted double woo. Woo, 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 woo. And that's all the Hillbilly hijinks for this week. A big thank you to Tack Pack for sponsoring this episode. I'm Hill Person Johnny. We'll see y'all next time. Woo! This gun fits my hand better than this one does. Um.